Mantra is probably the hardest piece I've ever played, I think, because of all the huge technical demands, um, not only on the piano, but all this lovely stuff, the crotals, the woodblock and the sine wave modulator. Um, and I'm passionate about the piece because I think it's one of the great works of all time. And I have this strange experience that whenever I play through with Lisa, um, we get to the end and I sort of think, oh, it feels like it took 20 minutes. But it's been this whole amazing experience of this vast dome, I think, that, that goes like this from beginning to end and you reach the mantra at the end and it's like, oh, fantastic. All right, I can go off now and die. So, <clears throat> there you have page 27 of Mantra. I'm the second pianist, pianist number two, the wonderful Jill Richards is the piano number one. And the experience of playing Mantra is really like going to a completely different planet. Nothing that we even know in our solar system vaguely. So when you listen to it, it really creates this atmosphere of this macrocosmos jumping out from a small cell. Uh, the performance of mantra that uh, we're rehearsing for um, involves two pianos that have been amplified, which is an unusual thing to do um, for a performance, a classical music performance, but mantra is not just classical. Um, it has uh, other elements to it. The pianos amplified are put through compressors to, uh, I suppose, control the volume of the, the dynamics of the pianos and uh, then further through a ring modulator. Um, each piano is, is altered in, in tone and also dynamics by the ring modulator and an otherworldly sound results from it. Very bell-like and uh, structurally different to a normal piano. Um, it's a complex piece technically because of the acoustics of the pianos as well as the um, as, well, as well as the electronics, uh, which are passive components. 
Um, it's been a bit of an experimental phase as well for us, uh, developing it as a, as a completely analog chain. Um, a lot of people that do it uh, through digital means, uh, we've tried to remain authentic through the, uh, the, the process and um, ideally get the, the pianist to perform using the ring modulator and the sine wave generators and control it themselves. Right. Thank you.